I am a... Oh, God. Oh, there you go. There's a kill. I got a kill. I got a kill. Oh. Oh, damn. Um, it, I'm celebrating the victory by um, losing some uh, weight. Uh... Stalin, I'm so sorry. Hey guys, awesome cookies here. Welcome back to the channel. It's, it's good. It's good. It's good to be with you guys. I've missed you, you know. I've really missed you over like I don't even know how long it's been. Like a day. Anyway, I've missed you. Uh, so we'll play some War Thunder, and we're in the planes again. I am going to do a tank game next time, because we kind of neglected the tanks for a bit. So we're going to jump into the tanks, but for now, we're doing the planes again. Uh, this is a request from good old Corbin Squatch, who requested the LA-9 for the bias. Uh, I can't do that. Sorry, Corbin, mate. Um, I don't have it. <laughs> um, I have played a lot of War Thunder. I've actually been playing it since early 2013, but I've mostly, mostly been focused on British, German, and American vehicles. Um, I haven't really been focused on Russia at all. I don't really have that much of an interest. As a result, I have not progressed down this tree. But it's good, because you have given me a goal. You've given me an objective. Now, I want that LA-9. Because I want to please my subscribers. And you deserve the best. So we are going to get that LA9. Probably not this week. But I promise you. This is a promise now. So I'm really... Oh god I'm going to regret this. I'll have that LA9 by next week. And you will get the LA9 video next week. But until then. You're going to get an LA7 video. And maybe later on this week. You'll get an LA7B video. How's about that? So that is why we're flying the LE-7. As for the aircraft itself, uh, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I can't get it to work. Um, I've looked on the Wolf Under Wiki, and it's actually apparently quite a good plane. I just can't really get it to work. But any gay, any, any, any gay? Well, any, do you know? Any day? Any gay? Any straight? Anyone? can watch my videos and anyone can fly an LA-7 in this beautiful free-to-play game that is War Thunder. Well recovered. But today, anyway guys, we're going to take out this LA-7 into a realistic battles. We're going to do it live. Let's do this. So, I'm thinking of doing a new series. I'm not going to promise anything about it. I'm not going to talk about it too in too much detail. But the way I do my videos is I do live commentary. And they're not really reviews, they're just my gameplay, and we're just having fun. Um, I just go out, play live, and boom. I'm not trying to show off my skills or anything like that. I'm just sharing an, av an average game in an a certain aircraft or a certain tank. That's kind of the whole thing about my channel, it's just typical. I'm not an amazingly skilled pilot. You don't come to me for, like, you know, reviews. You don't come to me for facts about the aircraft. You just come to this channel to see a pretty damn average War Thunder player fly some stuff. Right, I'm just your typical War Thunder gamer. But one thing I do want to start doing is a new series where I do test aircraft. Not review them, but test them. So I put them to their paces, I do stupid things with them in realistic battles to see what works best with them. Um, and I could probably make one of them a week because a lot of effort will have to go into making them. Anyway, that's a series I'm going to do in the future. Until then, though, I just thought on these little outings where we take the aircraft out live, whilst we're climbing to altitude, we might as well look up the War Thunder wiki of every single aircraft and see what it has to say. So the Lukotchkin LA-7 was a Soviet single-seat, single-engine monoplane fighter. It was a further development of the LA-5FM. The first prototype was built in January 1944. Its first flight on the 2nd of February, and it entered state trials on the 16th of February. The aircraft entered surreal production in May 1944, designated LA-7, and fully replaced the LA-5 FN on production lines by November 1944. 
So, we're talking to, like, late war aircraft here. So, this is like the pinnacle, right? That's an enemy plane. Look at that, boys. We have found an enemy plane. Look at him. Trying to be all sneaky. There he is. You probably won't be able to see him. I can see him. You son of a biscuit. Destroy the target. Now, the LA-7B gets 320 mil cannons, and they're like, target. not Shavax. This only gets 220 mil cannons, and they're Shavax. The Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think of the Shavak cannons? I hate them. Anyway, let's, uh, let's dive on this guy, because I might as well. I mean, no one else is around, no one else is going to get in, and I'm not just going to... Is it a whip? Is it a Wyvern? Oh my god, is it a Wyvern? Because I'm battle rating 4.7. Which, as much as I don't like this aircraft, I must admit, 4.7 is fairly low. Now, this... That is a Wyvern. That is... Yes, it is! We're chasing down Clementine in the Wyvern. I don't want to rip, though. Right, should we bring the throttle up? Now... <gasps> hit and spark. Some of those sparked, some of them were a registered hit. We're going to lose our speed so we can flip over now. I'm going to see if I can get a kill. I'd love to kill a Wyvern. These things are really good. Well, not really good, but they can be good fighters if you try. This guy hasn't tried. Boom, there you go. So we got our first kill of the match on a Westland Wyvern. I'm happy with that. You see, that was alright then. You see the cannons, like some of them just did nothing and just spark. Um, although sparking hasn't been the issue, it's just they hit. And they saw I got a lot of hits that just did nothing. And then bam, out of nowhere, he's dead. So it's not necessarily a problem, but it's kind of an annoyance. Because I don't know which... I do a burst and sometimes it will just hit. I do another burst and it will just boom, kill him. I don't know what burst is going to do what. I just, I am on the default belt though, so yeah. Sorry, vodka. I only drink vodka, not milk. What is this talk about milk? I'm not the milk drinker. So we have two Spitfires and two P51s, relatively low down. The P51s are quite easy prey when they're not up high. That uh, Lacio or whatever does look like he's got a lot of energy though and he's he's skyrocketing into the air. There's a P47 up high, that's dangerous. Everyone keep your eye out for this dude. P P47 up high is very dangerous, it's very heavy aircraft, it's got a you know, very nice dive, it's also got 850 caliber, but freedom flingers. It's, uh, it's pretty lethal in the hands of a good pilot who knows what he's doing. Right, let's help out this Yak-3 who has two Spitfires on his tail. That's, that is not a pleasant position to be in. Now, I think because of our battle rating, these are only going to be Merlin Spitfires. We're 4.7, so if we are bottom tier, then it could be the Mark 14 Griffins. I don't think they will be, though. They might be. We'll find out. I am trying... And he's dead. Sorry, mate. I was in a position... I was trying to help... That one's pulled off. We're going to let him pull off. This one's the FR Spitfire. See, just hits. So we hit him. Nothing good, though. Nothing critical. Nothing. Nothing. Just, just nothing! I'm now running away from Ghost Inferno here. So now I'm the one with two Spitfires on my tail. What? Is that one moving? Yeah, he is. Um, I'm going to try and manoeuvre. This might be really dangerous. I think he's actually still really close. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because, you know what? I'm feeling suicidal today. Look, right, guys, typing away in the comments. I know that was stupid. I'm really not feeling it today, guys. I'm just going to go... I'm just... Just Stalin's got me, all right? I'm going to put my trust in Stalin. I mean, this thing can take a beating, right? That's one thing I know it can do. It can take a beating. So, let's just go full-on Stalin mode. So, uh, 
uh, yeah, um, second kill of the match on a Spitfire FR. A Spitfire's just pulled off. There's a Spitfire over there who I should probably worry about. Uh, he seems to be alright though, so we're going on to this bit instead. Doesn't seem to be paying attention. He does now, I think. He's a Mark 9, so he's pretty awesome. Come on! Oh, cooling system. Nice. That, I'm so happy I got his cooling system! Just hits for days, but just nothing. I'm, I am able to stay on his ass, though, which is... He is in a very... Oh, the sparks, boys. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. You just take the kill. I'm glad your cannons work properly. Okay, guys, so that was our assist. Um, so we've had two kills this game and an assist. Um, I'm all right with that, you know. Genuinely, I'm fine with that. Um, do you see what happens when you just don't care anymore? And you just go balls to the walls? I mean, bias much? Russian bias much? Who'd you nick a bollock of? See, that was a nice chunk of research, and let's be honest, that was not a very impressive game. What, two kills and an assist, and that's a nice chunk of research there. So, I'll have this LA7B by the weekend, and we can do another video on that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to leave it at that, guys. I know that was only one game, and I know that this is a lot shorter than my videos usually are, and because I am not really going to take this out for another game, really. I'm going to take different Russian aircraft out to research the LA7B. So please let me know in the comments what you think of the LA-7 and what you think of the Shabak cannons. Um, once again, I am sorry that I wasn't able to do that LA-9 video just yet, but I mean, look, <laughs> it's nothing I can do. However, I promise I'll get, I will get that by next week, and we'll be, uh, and this time next week we'll do an LA-9 video. So thank you very much, um, Corbin, for the suggestion, and. Um, Please let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to fly. Fingers crossed I'll actually have that aircraft this time. Um, so let me know what you think of this aircraft in the comments as well. So thank you all very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs down if you did not. Let me know why in the comments. Share this video with as many people as you can. Let's get this channel going. I think it deserves to get growing. Let's get this thing growing. And if you're new to the channel and you want more War Thunder, hit that subscribe button. And I shall provide it for you. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.